Hi everyone, this is going to be a very quick video about this face shield or protective visor made with 3D printed clips that connect to a baseball cap. This is a very simple design. I saw this on the Star 8 Facebook page and then I messaged them saying, hey, can you share the files for that? And they said, sure, no problem. So the idea of this obviously is that if you're approaching people, let's say you're a frontliner, you're a police officer, you're an enforcer, you have a protection against uh, coughs and sneezes and spit and things like that and uh, it just clips onto your baseball cap it's a very simple idea and what I like about this is that you can print this so so quickly look at that hair because of course we don't have any hairdressers here in quarantine so let's take a closer look at this on the desk so here's a closer look. These are the 3D printed pegs and they have these little mushrooms on the end that go through this plastic. And this is just a overhead projector sheet. Very basic plastic, but you can really use anything. For example, here I've got this other type of plastic which is from a folder. Anything that's plastic and transparent will work. Now, some of their photos, they only had three pegs. Some of them only had two. I decided to print four. And let me remove one. They're a little bit hard to remove because of course you want it to be tight. But you just make a tiny little hole in the plastic. I used a hot GI wire. And then this little mushroom head, let's get the camera to focus please. That little mushroom head there goes through that hole and then clips onto your baseball cap. So I really like this design because it's so simple and you can print this so quick and even on a small 3D printer. That's one of the problems with these bigger designs is the longer it takes to print, the more chance there is of something going wrong and you need a bigger build plate and you have to make sure it's level in every single spot. So it's a little bit difficult, 3D printing is not super simple. Sometimes people underestimate how many things can go wrong. So I love this little clip idea. Now I'm not saying this would be perfect for everyone. I don't think this is suitable for hospitals, but for many frontliners on the road, like police officers, I think this is a pretty good option. Although saying that, I did share some pictures recently these pictures here where there are women in the MMDA making these kind of masks or protective visors and they're just using basic materials, some foam, some straps, some staplers and they're pumping out hundreds of these every day. So I'm not necessarily saying this is the best way but when it comes to 3D printing I think it's a pretty cool option. Now one of the recommendations that I gave to Star 8 after printing these myself is that this little peg or this little knob on the end. They should try and follow other designs around the world where the hole you make is made with a hole punch because that's a consistent clean hole. So the little knob that they put on these clips should be designed for a hole punch. But otherwise I think it's a really really cool idea. Let me put this back on the cap and just show you me wearing it. It's, it's pretty cool. I do like it. Of course you can adjust it depending on your cap, that's a nice thing, it's very simple to clip on like this. So here you go, it's back on my face again, and of course you can adjust this to get a tighter arc or radius around your face, you can make it wider, depending on your preference. And probably over the coming days I'll do some other experiments with the 3D printer, try out some different designs. And uh, actually there was a bit of a delay because the filament I had, it was very old and brittle, it, no good anymore basically but I got some other filament it's good and uh, yeah just trying to go through the leveling process and everything else but yeah probably more experiments and more printing coming soon and uh, hopefully we can actually give these to some front liners the problem I have is I don't have any of these acrylic sheets. I literally just have two pieces of this, which was enough to make this demonstration, but uh, that's about it. So yeah, with the coming days, we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching.